Hi, Mark Bruno with Printing News and PrintingNews.com, and we're here with Judy Berlin, VP of Marketing at Exxon Pi. Hi, Judy. Hi, how are you doing? Good, good. It's uh, day two of Graph Expo 2015. Uh, we just ate lunch, so uh, we're wide awake and ready to ready to go on the rest of the day here. Yeah. Um, Judy, I wanted to talk to you a little bit first about about cross media, which you know is nothing new. It's been around for probably a decade and a half or more, um, but it's evolved. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering if you could kind of explain. You know, what, what it means to you and to Exxon Pi today as opposed to what it meant, you know, five years ago or even ten years ago and what you know what people in the industry should know about cross media. Okay. Well, you know, over the last fifteen years, the truth is our definition of cross media hasn't really changed. Uh, the truth is uh, the technology has advanced, but uh, we're we've been pretty consistent in the way we define cross media. So to our mind, cross media is really the ability to create and develop and deliver individualized communications that's personally relevant and creatively compelling, where all the different media channels are actually integrated around the common core. And it's very important to have that common framework because you want the conversation or the messaging to be able to be consistent and synchronized with each other. And really, that's been our slogan from day one, one to one in one. So it's really all about many channels, one conversation. So Judy, let's talk about print service providers in particular and how cross media is or should be relevant to them. Right. So in my opinion, print service providers are absolutely perfectly positioned to offer cross media services to their customers. And the reason being is because they have the relationship with the brands. They know how to control the digital assets they already have. And we also know through surveys that have been done that the corporations are asking the print service providers to provide these services. So I feel this is a tremendous opportunity for print service providers to offer the value-added services. Yeah. Judy, Exxon Pi has also been a player in personalization, obviously, for a long time. Tell us a little bit about what that term means and how that term has evolved and what, you know, as far as its meaning. Right. Well, to my mind, personalization is both an art and a science. And, you know, People are pretty sophisticated today. They don't really appreciate personalization just for the sake of personalization, but they do very much appreciate having relevant offers, relevant communications at the right time. So this is exactly where marketing automation can play, come into play, where um, you can automatically trigger different uh, messaging and responses based on customer behavior and customer profile data. And, um, let me, let me ask you in terms of in terms of the personalization of the marketing automation. Now that you know, it's been around for quite a while, has XM Pi um, come up with you know best practices per se that you know you advise customers or counsel them that you know this is probably the way you should think about doing this. Right. This is what works for other people. Um, right. Like I said, it's also an art and a science. Mm -hmm. And the part that's art, you can never replace the marketing strategy or the brains behind the idea, and that's really the insights that the marketer has. But what XM Pi offers is the science and the solution behind it. So if you want to do automation, if you want to do individualized communications over the different media, that really is the right solution. Yeah. And how do, the, how do the two integrate, the, the cross media, or the personalization with the cross media? I mean, is that, when you mention marketing automation, is that kind of where they come together? Yeah. And, you know, we've had this philosophy over the years that when you create individualized communications over the different media channels, you want to use the authoring tools for the best for, that's best for that media. So for example, for print, the gold standard really is the Adobe Creative Suite, using InDesign and we completely plug into that. For digital media, we've actually had a dramatic change in philosophy over there. It's no longer one set of tools. Today, you really have to be open because developers work that way. They don't want to be restricted to any one particular kind of tool. And uh, the announcement that we're making here at the show is Personal Effect 8, which enables the digital side of creating media, which is uh, landing pages, single page applications, mobile ready kind of interactions. The developers can use any tool that they want. And it's very similar to the way uh, with Google Analytics, you embed snippets of code into any HTML page. Uh -huh. Likewise, you can do the same now with XMPy, where you embed the personalization code. And the advantage to something like that is the fact that today you can use any template that's commercially available or even work with the, <coughs> excuse me, the web designers of a corporation 
And so it's completely open, and that's where it has to be because it's changing so rapidly. Fascinating. And, and uh, Personal Effects 8.0 that's being demoed over at the booth? That's right. Okay. Yeah. So, and, and just so everybody remembers, X Empire is a Xerox company, and you're over in the Xerox booth. That's right. Okay, Judy. Well, thanks for taking some time to speak with us, and have a great show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.